This is Grant. This is Sloan. And we're your drunken uncles. Beginning. I'll sing with you. We've been drunken uncles for many a year. We've spent all our money on whiskey and beer. But now we're on YouTube to settle the score. And we'll never play drunken uncles no more. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will we play drunken uncles? No, never, no more. Wait, we're not your drunken uncles? Dude, it's irony. Oh, I get it. Because obviously we are drunken uncles? Yeah, of course we are. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will we play Drunken Uncles? No, never, no more. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is your Drunken Uncle, episode three. And we got a great show for you today, don't we, Sam? We have a great show. You so, wanna... what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to start out with uh, Ask Your Uncle. Uh, Our advice column. Do Say Uncle, right? Say Uncle, where we make the world leaders, pop culture icons, and all the rest of you feckers say uncle out there. That's right, and just general, you know, and especially kings. And we also visit Collinsville, Oklahoma, That's right. and join the Green Country, old time Ireland and Americana group, where we play great music. And We're definitely gonna talk about Ireland again, because this man and I, we go to Ireland less than a week, and um, we have a lot to talk about there. Episode four will be coming from Ireland. More on that later. And last but not least, of course, the word of the day. Always Watch the word of the for day. the word of the day when Sloan and I drink. Drink along with us. Count how many times Sloan misses drinking this to the guy. word of the day. This guy. Tabulate the count in the comment section of this video, and you might get toasted in the next episode of Your Drunken Uncle. And let me tell you. Grant Jenkins will always miss more than me. That is a true statement. It might be true, but it's definitely it's, on purpose. It's definitely true. All right. So. We're going right into Ask Your Uncle. Ask Your Uncle. So, yes. Sloan, did I, we get any questions this week? We do. We have ask a question. Kitty O'Neill asks, my friend told me I drink too much. How much is too much? Ah, very good question, Mickey T. O'Neill. We last asking a good question. How it's much is Irish. too much, Lon? Well, Kitty, let me just say, your drunken uncle knows his limits. He knows when to stop. Isn't that right, Slon? So, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Kitty. Sometimes too much is too much, and we all have woken up with that. Um, so, Sloan, what happens if we don't... We don't respect our limits. We yes. Drink a weed well, you know, the thing you need to do is always, and we've talked about it last time, hydrate. Drink water. Why do we people. hydrate, Sloan? You said that's a rule, but why? Because it reduces your chances of a blister and hangover, for one. Do you no. know why the brain hurts? It's because it... Yes, yeah, because of dehydration, water. man. When your head is pounding, you need water. And then, you know, if, if this friend of yours keeps, like, hounding you, you know, tell her to hit the stones. Get the fuck out of here. Because, you know, your drunken uncle's going to drink, and that's just the way that is, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, your drunken uncle spent a night at Collinsville with the Green Country Old Time and Irish Jam. So, yeah. Larry, can you take us Can you magically blur the lines? <laughs> and off we go to Collinsville!
So cheers, and this gets your drunken uncle thumbs up. Stop. Next segment, we're going to, we're going, going to say uncle. We're going to say uncle. Are you ready for it? Okay. So, in case you haven't seen the show before or forgotten the rules to say uncle, here's how it works. Sloan and I go back and forth. Wait. Sloan and I go back and forth, trying to make each other say uncle. That is, if one of us laughs, if one of us can't keep their mouths we shut, which comments. is really hard for a drunken uncle to keep his mouth shut. If he breaks in, he has to drink. So, and we're of course trying to make everyone out there say uncle. Are you ready, Sloan? I'm beginning I'm ready. this time. You but, started but last time. There's one final rule uh, that we didn't mention. Um, and that is, if we have to say unc the same say uncle, oh, yeah. Uh, it's a called a jinx, and uh, basically, if Grant has says something and I say jinx, he has to drink, but he gets to keep that say, Uncle. All right. All right. Okay. You start. All right. Here we go. Say, Uncle Leavers, the Brexit was drink. a terrible idea. I knew this drink. was going to be a jinx, which is why I picked it first. Yeah. I, well, I'm happy to smart. drink to it. Yeah. It was a terrible idea. Based in fear, based in xenophobia, based in this idea that there's some sort of pure Englishness. Stupid, I mean, deep nationalism. And my fear is, of course, that it's an omen that that America is going to do the same thing like Donald Trump. Well, does. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it, there. You go, right? It's like it's this cycle of politics coming in, and Donald Trump could actually win, and that's scary. Here's the other thing: Scotland's already got a referendum going up, and and why wouldn't they leave you, England? Because they can leave you and join the EU. Not only that, why wouldn't Northern Ireland leave you 
and join Ireland, become united, and join the EU. You're going to be a, this tiny little country with nothing, no international Wales. You'll have strength. Wales. You'll have Wales. <laughs> and, Not that and you know, I'm, and a, look Welsh, it, look I'm it. a Welshman myself. My fellow right? English, my, 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 uh, I should say my fellow Englishman, but I have a lot of English friends. And you know how the Welsh think about the English, so just think about that. Right, so you'd be stuck with the Welsh. The, All right. The Jenkinses of the world. All right, say also. Oklahoma summer. It's bad enough you deliver 98 degrees, but the heat index, heat index is 115, and <clears throat> my truck has no AC. <laughs> and, for right those, and for those of you watching in Ireland and Europe and abroad, that's like... 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. And okay, humid. somewhere. In I that. mean, the humidity is a death, death, death sentence. 80 to 100% humidity. Ah, it, it's the, 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 the fucking humanity of it all. I think so, I have to drink because I couldn't stay quiet. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to blab. So, say on the Oklahoma summer, bring in some clouds and, and cool it down. I'd appreciate it, but not until you get back from Ireland. Good. Say, Uncle, bars that don't carry mozzarella sticks. <laughs> <laughs> when we were at the Silver Dollar Cafe in Collinsville, they had some great mozzarella sticks. And sometimes that's good. all a, that's all a, that's all an uncle wants. It's a little protein to balance out the, the starchy beverages, okay? And and it's, it used to it used to be like in the eighties, back when I was a wee little lad, they were everywhere. And now it's hard to find mozzarella sticks at bars. It's like it should be it should be almost standard that you have to eat mozzarella sticks. It soaks it up, you know? Talking about back to Kitty O'Neill, I mean, eat your mozzarella sticks and you, you, you know, you drink That's a little more. Yeah. A little stomach and the belly can help you drink more. I, yeah, all right. That's a good say, Uncle Brother. Man. All right. Say, Uncle U.S. A football. And I know this has been a little while, but I have to talk about this. No, it's good. You were demoralized. You were punished by the Argentina team. Messi messed with you and destroyed you. And, I, I, I mean, from our team's perspective, Bradley couldn't pass a ball to anybody. And where was Dempsey in the whole game? Didn't touch the ball once. I mean, Jesus. I got a drink, but, but I have to yeah. say, yeah. Uh, they just didn't get it done. I mean, honestly, U.S. football, if Messi is better than your whole entire team, which he it, is. You need to, do you need to rethink your approach? So say, Uncle, U.S. football, I'd like us to finally show up. That's it. Say, uncle, law-abiding gun owners. If you don't think that certain common sense gun control measures like assault weapons ban, background checks at gun shows, or any other common sense laws would infringe on your Second Amendment rights, who, what the hell? I mean, no one wants to take away your guns. Say, uncle, and just let reasonable measures be passed. I mean, what? I, I, I just don't understand the fear and paranoia that... So I love to shoot guns. It's great. It's a great thing. I don't own one, but I love to shoot them. And I, I, th I know so many gun owners who love their guns and deserve to own guns. And nobody wants to take those away. But those of you out there who, are, who understand that, please help solve this problem of mass murders in this country. It is just not right. Say yeah. uncle, law-abiding gun owners. We need your help. Okay, excellent. I was, the only reason I didn't jump in is because I, I didn't want to drink anymore. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, what? I'm having too Are many drinks. Are you uncle? Uh, thank you. All right, your turn, Slum. Say uncle, downtown Tulsa. Where is my fucking parking spot? I mean, I was there down in the day. Drinking. I was there down in the day when all there was was Arnie's, Kaz's, and some tumbleweeds. Dead Town, and then Tumbleweeds. <laughs> and I walked past those chain link fences by the loading docks, which is now, by the way, Guthrie Green. And I, I put my money where my mouth was, and I enjoyed downtown, and it was so cool and hip. And now, all these people from South Tulsa and the suburbs are coming in, right, because it's, it's cool now. And I can't find a place to park. You I gotta, can't find a place to I park. I gotta say bullshit on this, say uncle. Uh, because, like we said last time, Sloan, like, 
made me believe the city was going to get better, and he said, it's coming, it's coming, and I was so depressed, and blah, blah, blah. And now that the city is finally... Yeah. It, I mean, Tulsa really is a very up and coming, cool give a rat's town. Ass. And when I you, want my if you, build it, if you build it, they will come. And I don't mind driving around or parking in the parking garage. Oh, you got to walk over a, a bridge to the parking garage. A big deal. Like That's, you know, like if we were in New York City or Chicago or like San Francisco, you wouldn't even park. Like let me just say, let me just say it this way: park within ten miles of right. cool. Right. Okay. Whatever. But let me just say so this: spoiled. it should be a YDU spot, like a handicap spot. Now that is that is a good idea. And I should be able to pull up, and I should be like, and if I see someone, I should be like. Bitch, and I call her number, and the tow truck comes and takes that car out, and I pull into my spot. Dear because Mayor, I, I did my yeah. time. So hey, say I'll go downtown Tulsa and get me my spot. <laughs> yes, dear Mayor of Tulsa, please give us the YDU parking spots right in front of the Sound Pony. That's all we want. <laughs> Is that asking too much? Is that asking too much? No, no it's not no, asking no. too much. All right, your turn. Say Uncle Bob Dole and other old-fashioned conservatives who are supporting Donald Trump. I mean, even George Will said uncle. So, so should you. He's leaving the GOP. Anyone who's a fiscal conservative who believes in sort of balanced budgets or actually having an, like a, a moral ideology that's about <laughs> you know, fiscal conservatism. And, and believes in like religion and Christian, like how could you ever support Trump? Say uncle. All right. Say uncle, hangovers. I'm sick and tired of you coming around in the morning with your drums and your clogs on the head. <laughs> and killing me. I, uh, I gladly drink to that. I should be able to drink what I like in the night time and wake up every morning feeling just fine. It's 2016. We got robots on Mars, as I like to say. We should have a cure for the hangover. Um, hey, Sloan, you just gave it. Say, Uncle, this is not enough. <laughs> so anyway, say, Uncle, hangovers. Stop visiting me. Say, Uncle. Democratic Senatorial Re-Election Committee. Oh my God, you call me twice, twice a fucking day. I remember, guys, when I, remember I just showed you my phone and Unknown was calling? It was the Democratic Senatorial Reelection Committee calling me again, again. I've asked them not to call me. I'm almost ready to vote for Donald Trump. Wow. You bug me so effing much. If I want to donate, I will donate. But they are calling me twice a day. I'm not kidding. Twice a day. I have the records on my phone to prove it. Twice a day in the morning and night. Like, they're everywhere. I don't know how they do it. They must have a shit ton of money. like Or, or a robot who's like, oh, yeah, remember, call Grant twice in the day. I, I mean, and, and I kind of get, I'm getting to the point where it's a matter of principle. Your drunken uncle does not give money to harassers. All right. No matter how, I want the Senate. I want the Senate. I gotta jump in. I gotta jump in. See, so you drink. I, I drank. I, I drank. No, I, I drank, drank because of the. All right, I just want to jump in because I, I, to all my fellow drunken uncle out there, all my fellow drunken uncles, and everybody who watches the show, if you have Grant's number, I want you to call him twice a day. <laughs> Please. Please. I'll call talk him to you. Twice a day. But I'll talk everybody to you. do it. Everybody do it because I think that's fucking hilarious. I talk, I'll talk to you. And I'll give you money too because you're my friends. Oh but shit! This you're gonna get so many calls on. You heard it live. He's gonna give you. He's gonna give you money. I'm calling. I'm calling. Hey, dude, That's I need some money. money. Here's why they do it because they know I'm gonna eventually give him money. They have nothing to lose and they just keep calling. It's like I don't know. It's like Sloan's sister just always calling. Uh, yeah, in, in, his dreams, in his dreams. In his dreams. In your freaking dreams. Andre, that wasn't about you. Yeah, it's always about him. It's always about that, you know. All right. The l larger family of S Sloan sisters. <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Say uncle, Laura. Mm. Where the hell are you? 
So you bought a it's house. Always where Laura. So you bought it's a house. Where Laura. Where's Laura? I mean, that's gotta be a segment now. It's gotta be a segment it's like, now. Where's Laura. Waldo? You know? It's gotta be. By the way, drink. It's uh, gotta be a segment now, Laura. Because what? You you bought a house. All right. So what? Whatever. Whatever. You wanna make it? You wanna up? Uh, you know, overhaul it before you move in. I get it. It makes you busy. But you need to be here, Laura. You're you're a great big part of this uh, operation, and we need you. So. Say Uncle Laura, get your ass back here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, have to drink. I'm done now. Because I got jinxed. Alright, I, I have one. One more. You got jinxed. Say Uncle. People who don't believe in humanity anymore. Or more precisely, sound pony humanity. Okay, everyone knows that your drunken uncle has a favorite bar. And it's the Sound Pony. We've talked about the Sound Pony. We, you've seen us at the Sound Pony. Mm-hmm. Cry Baby Hill was was sponsored by Sound. As soon as Sound Pony opens up, Sound we're there. I'll drink now. But all I have to say is, yesterday, your drunken uncle. All your troubles seem so far away. <laughs> left something very valuable at the bar at the Sound Pony, and when he realized it was gone, he panicked. But some blessed beautiful soul and I just thank you so to my, the bottom of my heart with all my gratitude some great member of the Sound Pony Nation turned it in so when, yeah, they're cool. when, they're, when the YDU yeah. finally 24 hours later is like where's my thing <laughs> I realized so, it was gone yeah. it was turned in and God bless you. Yeah, and, God and bless you. Whoever turned in my thing, I right. you know who you are, and I'm very, very, and I, it just it made me feel like we live in a community of people who care for each other because they do care them. for each other. Yeah. I mean, the, the Sound Pony are you is drinking because you because I'm I already drank because right, right. I jumped in. The Sound Pony, uh, the clientele are great, and the people that work there are great, and obviously Mike and Josh are great. Love Mike it. and Josh. And, we're gonna get them on the show soon. Aren't we're we? gonna get them on the show hopefully. Mike and Josh hopefully. Um, and uh, no, they're good people. And even when Grant leaves his three month old baby at the sound pony and 24 hours later realizes that that baby's not in the house, she was cared for. She was cared she was, for. Was, they was, had a bottle of milk for this little baby. It was. Bottle, bottle, it was, bottle, it was, bottle it was, of tequila. It was so yeah, cute. Yeah, it was so cute. Yeah. yeah. They rinsed out a bottle of tequila, put a nipple on it, and put some milk in it and fed her. And. and that's how your sound pony rolls, and uh, I'm just, I'm very proud of the sound pony for taking care of his little baby. That's say uncle, bitch. <laughs> say uncle, motherfucker. So Sloan, our next episode, our Irish episode, we will be filming in Ireland. Can you believe it? Ireland! Woo! We leave in a few days. Uh, less than a week. Yeah. So, we're going right. down Northern Ireland, lad. We talked a little bit uh, in episode one about why we went, but let's just... Let's refresh everyone's memory. I mean, why? Well, 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 why are we going? To, yeah. Why are we going back to Ireland? Now, your fourth time, my third time. Why are we right. going? I mean, haven't you seen enough of Ireland, Sloan? I mean, never, never enough. <laughs> never, never, ever. Uh, I mean, never. Well, I mean, yeah. Listen, Willow Murphy at, at the uh, University of Ulster is a brilliant woman, and she's got this whole week for the Walden Project set up in uh, Bellarina and and also in Derry. Coleraine. Coleraine, sorry, Coleraine. University of Ulster, Coleraine. That's right. And we're going to be reading Walden, Thoreau's Walden, and we're going to be discussing all that, and we're going to have these uh, projects and everything going on. Uh, but then we're moving on, man, right? Yeah, we're we're not, that. we're that's going to be a fantastic that. week. That yeah, is a fantastic week. That's just week. the first week of our three-week trip. Yeah, a little over three weeks. So what's happening after that song? Oh, shit. So then hopefully we're going to go to Derry. Yeah. And we're going to explore Derry on the... And then, so then Derry, and then Donegal... Which is a little Which further north. A part of, a part of the, one of the counties of Ireland we've never been to. Chris. And then we're heading south. We're going back to Cark. We're going to go to Dingle. Uh, we're going to go to Dingle because we haven't been in Dingle. Yeah. And then to Cark. Cark, uh, as they say. We got to be going to West Cark. We got to be going to West Cark where they, where they talk like that's right. Uh, and has a, has we a have a lot of friends there. So, you know, the Baltimore story, if, if you want to see that, go to the segment called Baltimore Story. You'll put the why, link in the comment section. You'll know why Baltimore is so important to us. But we're going to Skibbereen, and we're going to go to the pub. What's the pub? Shishabeen, lads. The, the greatest Shabin. pub in all of Ireland. Well, lots to do. And we're going to interview people all the way through. We're drinking. What's that shit we're drinking in Ireland? Poutine. Poutine? Is that right? Yeah. Somebody made it. It's like, it could kill you if it's not made right. 
So, so if this we don't make your last <laughs> <laughs> this might be your last Enjoy episode of Drunken Uncle. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Hey! Uh-huh.